Hello Stampers! I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope you're having a fabulous evening. I'm gonna wait for a few of you to come in. I see Karen popping in and Diana and Bernice. You guys are right on the ball. Jackie's here. Welcome. So we got some snow today in Menasha. Like the ground is a light dusting covered. Yeah, and what is it, October 25th? That's kind of insane, right? Yeah. Um, I know my mom last week got five and a half inches of snow. <laughs> I feel really bad. Hang on, I'm clearing off my desk here. Let me turn some more lights on. Woo, lights. Hi, Heather. Hi, Karen. Hi, Lisa. Nancy's coming in. I just filled up my little thing of candy corn. Yay. <laughs> I'm all sugared up. Don't worry. So, did you guys have a good weekend? Oh, Connie says she's dying over John's spider tree. I just posted a picture. You'll have to wait till you're done with me here so you can see it if you missed it. But um, somebody asked me if I would post a picture of John's spider tree because they wanted to see it. And so I did. And I like kind of stood on my porch and took a picture because I didn't want to look like the creepy neighbor. <laughs> I know, right? I'm worried. I don't want my neighbors to think I'm the creepy neighbor. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little creepy. <laughs> I don't know. So, we had kind of um, a lot going on here today. Uh, I was working pretty much all day. And then I decided I was yawning and I thought, ooh, I should go take a nap. I am ahead of the game a little bit. Yay! And I should go take a nap. Hi, Nancy Joe. I just added you to the VIP group. Um, and then Steve decided it was time for us to clear out the two bedrooms upstairs. Remember my dressing room, which if you guys know me and follow this, my dressing room is really just a bedroom in this five bedroom house that nobody uses anymore. So I have a desk in there and, um, that's where I get ready in the morning. After I take my shower, there's a desk, I put my makeup on, do my hair, you know, the whole thing. And so I call it my dressing room because that's fancy. <laughs> so we cleared out the dressing room, my desk, and there's a bed still in there, but that's it. And the bedroom next to it, which we call the little purple room because it's really small. It's only like nine foot by something. It's a real little, tiny little room. And we cleared out both of those rooms because those are the next rooms that are going to get remodeled. And we're tearing the wall out between the two bedrooms, and that's going to be my new stamping studio, stamping office, workroom. So I'm really excited about that. Um, our guy is coming, I don't know, like November something. Let me look at my calendar here, because I know you guys want to know the date, right? <laughs> I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> um, I think he's coming, oh, maybe next week. <laughs> So, Steve was pretty on the ball. Um, Steve is taking off. He's going to Nebraska hunting, um, bow hunting for, I don't know, 10 days or something. So, it's kind of funny because Steve's going to come home on the day that I have to go to a wedding. And then I am leaving, I think that day still, to head to Dina's house and pick her up in Iowa. And we're headed to Wyoming to meet with our bestie Barb. And Steve will be home on Saturday, and I'm leaving Saturday. So, yeah, it's going to be a long haul, right? Hmm. So, anyways, Kelly did not get to take a nice nap today because she was moving furniture. And we got this bed from my sister-in-law. Um, really, really nice bed. Headboard, footboard, it's very nice. And so we finally got to put that together and um, put that into the spare room, which is where we were living until we moved back into our master bedroom. We did that this week too. So lots of moving going on here and we're still living in our house. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, oh, and we got a new washer and dryer. So I've been really busy today. I made my own breakfast. It was only a piece of toast, but still, right? And um, I did all of my laundry for the last, I don't know, week and a half or so. We got a new washer and dryer because our dryer broke last week. So, and our washer was making all kinds of noise for a very long time. So as long as we needed a new dryer, 
we got a new dryer and a new washer. And I have to say that I really like the new washer because it's easy. It's set to the little dialy things. We didn't get anything fancy. We don't like all that fancy stuff. <laughs> Except when it comes to my truck, that's a different story. But um, the little dials are all set. You just push a button and it starts and it's just like magic. The dryer is not my friend because I can't remember which section on the dial I'm supposed to be using. <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> so I don't really like the dryer that much, but it dries clothes, so that's good. Hi, Haley. And um, yeah, so I did all my laundry today and um, I made myself breakfast and cleaned out two rooms. Um, I asked Steve this morning for a John update. I said, what's going on with John? And he goes, nothing. A couple of his spiders fell out of his tree. That's what Steve told me. So, I don't know if anybody picked him up or not, but that's the word on the street. A couple spiders fell out of John's tree. That's all I got for you this week. But Steve is still curious about the pod across the street. He did mention that after I asked about John. He says, I don't know what's going on with the pod. Because I've seen them moving some stuff out of their house and putting it in the pot. I'm not really sure what they're doing over there. Maybe they're getting new flooring or something. <laughs> Just like, I'm sitting there cracking up because I'm like, why do you even care? <laughs> but he does. <laughs> so, nothing new on the pod. We don't know anything. John's got a couple spiders missing. Um, I do have to tell you about a funny thing. So, you know that I bought this... Um, new to me Ford Explorer. It's not, I didn't buy it brand new, it's used. I think it just came off a two or three year lease. And um, so I bought this new Explorer and it is the fanciest thing I have ever owned in my life. I love it. But it's got everything. And um, <laughs> one of the things that we didn't really know how to use was the remote start. You have to do something with the key fob and you can start it like from in your house. I know you guys probably all know what remote start is, but I've never had it. And this is pretty big stuff for me. So Steve showed me how to do it and I did it through the window and it started up like magic. It was just the coolest thing. So then last night, um, my Anna and Scott went to a party outside of town and um, I dropped them off and then they told me they would either Uber home or they'd call me and if I was still up, I could, I said I'd go get them. So they called me and I was still up. It was like, I don't know, midnight or something. So I went in the kitchen and started pressing the buttons on the fob. <laughs> I went outside and all I accomplished was my truck is sitting in the driveway with the, with the back hatch wide open. <laughs> so it was a complete fail on the remote start with the fob. But I did ask again, and I hope I can remember next time, because I can remember all the buttons. Which buttons am I supposed to? i got to push two of them twice, and then one once, and I don't know. I can't remember all the things. But anyways, I'll, I'll let you know if I can do it next time. So, I wanted to let you, know, let you guys know, the Designer Series paper sale ends on the 31st. So, make sure if you haven't taken advantage of that, there's some really awesome paper on there that's for sale. And I know none of us have enough designer paper right? Yeah, I know. I totally get it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Betty says it is in the eighties to nineties in Bradenton, Florida. That's crazy because it's snowing here. Yeah. I love Florida. I just have to say I'm jealous. Um, what else? Oh, the other thing that I have going on, this is the, and I know this is going to be backwards, but it's fine. Yeah. You know, it's some Christmas greetings and a bunch of little Christmas things. Super cute. A merry hello. You can get this for free from me with your $150 order before the end, well, by October 31st. I just want to throw that out there. Now, I also want to let you guys know, when you put in a $150 order, you get Stampin' Rewards. And I'm always kind of surprised that people don't know that. I want to tell you, I just had somebody put in an order for $143. And if you would have added $7 to your order, you would have got $15 for free. And it just... Like, it doesn't break my heart. Like, that's being really dramatic, right? But it just pains me a little bit that people don't know that. And I, I try to make sure everybody knows that, but I can only do so much, right? Anyways, when you place a $150 order, you get Stampin' Rewards. You get 10% Stampin' Rewards. So at $150, you're going to get $15 free. Did you see that quick math? Yeah. 
Um, anyways, you can get this. It's only $10 when you have a $150 order. Or you can put in a $150 order and I'll buy it for you. And you can spend your $15 on something else. So I just wanted to make sure people know how to get these exclusive sets that are only available with your Stampin' Rewards. Anything else? I don't think so. I did have a little fun with my VIP Facebook group. Now, I've talked about this before. In order to be in my VIP Facebook group, you have to place an order in my online, online store or when you're ordering my kits, you have to order the bundle with them. Then you have access to my VIP group and uh, look at this beauty. This is what we made yesterday with a Facebook Live in that private group. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, it was so fun. I it, I was kind of a mess because I, I'd never made this card before using that little circle-y technique. I'm calling it swirly circles. I don't know. But um, we had a lot of fun. And everybody laughed along with me. Maybe some people laughed at me. I don't care. It's fine. But <laughs> anyways, we have this going out in the mail to a winner who watched the Facebook Live yesterday in the VIP group. So one of you is going to get this in the mail. I think I'm going to leave it a surprise. Watch in your mailbox in the next few days. I've got it all addressed and ready to roll. We also have prizes from last week. We have, for making a comment, I've got some of these All the Trimmings embellishments. These are super fun, great for Christmas. I loved using them um, for Halloween, the stars with the Have a Hoot bundle. That was really fun, too. My winner from last week is Margaret Day. And Margaret, I do not have your address. So if you could please private message me on Facebook with your address so I can get these out in the mail to you tomorrow, that would be awesome. And congratulations. And what did somebody just say about the group? I was so excited to be in the group. Chris Wood, you're welcome. It is fun, right? Jude said she loves the VIP group too. Yeah, I'm hoping to do a lot of kind of exclusive Facebook Lives in there um, just because I really want you guys to know how much I appreciate you. So next up, we have Wonder of the Season Memories and More Card Pack. These are so fun, you guys. I'm going to actually show you um, this pack. I have one opened. Gosh, where did it go? It's here someplace. I have one opened. I'm going to show this to you. For leaving a or for sharing my video from last week, you guys can click on that share button right now and share my Facebook Live to your profile. And what that does for me is it helps get me out there. So when you share it to your profile, all your friends are going to see that you shared my video and maybe some of them are going to click on it and watch it and they're going to want to start stamping or maybe they are stampers and then it helps me grow my business. So um, for sharing my video last week, I have D. Esplana from Coparis, Coparis, did I say that right? Coparis, Texas. D, this is coming your way in the mail tomorrow. Congratulations. Don't forget to click on that like button too. I think you can click that button right now. When you click on that like button, it helps me in the Facebook analytics. I don't understand it all, but who does? <laughs> I don't know. And then for placing an order with me last week, I have this wrapped in Christmas. This is an amazing sentiment set. And this is going out to Louise Quills, I believe, Q-U-I-L-E-S, from Anaheim, California. Louise, thank you so much for your order. Thanks, everybody, for your orders. And um, I'll put that in the mail tomorrow also. I'm going to bring myself up here on my screen so that I can see what's going on when I turn this around. So bear with me. Maybe we should have a candy corn. Mm, yeah. Northeast Ohio. Jill's from Northeast Ohio. Thank you so much, Jill, for the share. I really appreciate it. Here we go. Let me get me big on the screen. There we are. Yay. Oh, you know what? Last time I had my um my new iPad. Oh, I got my Halloween shirt on today. This is a different one. What do you guys think? Pretty cool, right? And then check out my spider earrings. What? Yeah. So I told you last week I went to put on my bat earrings and they died. The bat lost a wing. We can't have that, right? So, um, I got some new ones. Yeah. All right. Hang on. I got to get this going. Oops. 
there we go. Okay, let's see if I can do this. I gotta make sure my volume is down. I don't know anything about iPads. I still have really not even used this thing, except that I can see it really good sitting in front of me. So um, I like that, because then I can keep track or at least pay better attention to your comments. It's hard to um, watch your comments and stamp and try to keep my thoughts together and my crazy mind. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Val is six months old today, you guys. Can you even believe it has been six months? What? I know. It's just crazy. Val is six months old. Haley did her little six-month picture. She does a picture every month with her laying on the floor in the circle. And the one she posted today is just, of course, stinking adorable. And I will share that with you. I'll also, as soon as Haley shares her family photos that she got done last week, I think, I'll share those with you too because Val is stinking adorable. And of course she's adorable, right? That's just silly that I even say that. But she is so cute, you guys. The pictures turned out so good. I can't even believe it. So I'm going to close my laptop up because I don't think I need it open over there. And then we're not sucking up so much internet or bandwidth or whatever it's called. So we shouldn't run into any problems. Okay, tonight. Tonight we are going to be using, let me grab my little mini catalog. Oh Lord, I got a mess going on here. Tonight we are going to be using the Wonder of the Season. Oh my goodness, I have had so much fun. I'm glad Haley is on watching too because when she was working for me this summer, we just talked about that yes, this yesterday, um, I, we, I really miss her and she really misses being here too, which I thought was really sweet. But when she was working here this summer, she actually um, made some cards, some swap cards for me using the Wonder of the Season. And the Wonder of the Season actually has two designer series papers in it. This one called Wonder, right? Wonder of the Season. This is a specialty paper. It's got red and gold foil. And then the Tis the Season, which is our six by six designer series paper. You guys have seen me using this. This is just really nice, fun, small Christmas patterns. This one's on sale. So um, just so you know that. Then let's see. Oh, I'm gonna get all the things up here. Here are the sounds of the season dies, and I cut these out so I could show you what they do. Um, sometimes I don't always know what dies are supposed to do. Like, what was this thing? Like, what the heck is that? I don't even know what to do with that. But once I started cutting out my bells, you can see that the die cuts out. This is the negative. Here's what it cuts out, and then those little stripes go on the bells themselves and they fit on all four different sizes. So that's really cool. Now besides all of these dies in the Sounds of the Season dies, you also have, let me hold this up against the paper, these two dies, hang on, here we go. All right, there we go, these two dies and they die cut this bell and this bell. So this is the stamp set. It's got uh, three sentiments in it. It's got these pine bows. I almost called them feathers, pine bows, and four, four bells. So this is the stamp set that goes along with the dies. And I don't know what it is about bells, but anytime there's a bell set, I have to have it. I just, I don't know. I think they're really charming and I just love bells. So Bells it is, right? Okay, whoops. Oh, I almost dropped a die. Urgh, fell right on my lap. Okay, let me get this camera turned around so we can start making cards. Anyways, back to Haley. She made these swap cards for me using this suite of products. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. And then I have two cards I'm sharing with you that Haley made and I have, um, Somebody just said something about the feathers. I'm like, are those feathers? No, they're really pine bows. But, I mean, they could be feathers. But pine bows make more sense, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, and I have a gift card holder that I'm using this suite on. So lots of fun stuff to learn tonight. Uh, let's see. Which one are we going to do first? Let's flip the camera around, and we're going to get started. 
Yeah, so Cindy said she had no idea what the squiggly line dye was for. I, yeah, I totally get it, right? I didn't either until I got it out and started playing with it. And then I'm like, what do these do? What are these for? I don't understand. But then it all made sense. Hang on, let me move myself around here. There we go. Everything looks good. My phone is plugged in. I have it on Do Not Disturb. Life is good. We've got our unicorn here that lights up. All right. I told you I would show you these. These are the Memories and More. Um, Memories and More Wonder of the Season card pack. So look at how pretty these are. Oh, somebody just asked me a question. My question is how to not have the holly and berries fall out. Okay, so we'll talk about that a little bit. What I would suggest if you don't want these to come out, they are meant to come out, you can die cut your, your bell and then you can take and you can put a piece of tape behind it and that will hold everything in. That'll work. Or you can take your piece of cardstock and you can put... No, never mind. Um, just do that. Put a piece of tape behind it. You can trim the sides here so that you can't see the tape from the front. But that's probably what I would do. So, good question. Let me keep going. Hi, Kim Loper. I miss you. Okay. Oh, and Eris is on here, too. So, these are the Memories and More cardstock pack. Now, these are actually designed for scrapbooking. But the cool thing is, is that you can use them to make cards. So you get all of these three by four cards. They're all, whoops, let me try this again. They're all double sided. Look how cute that is. Sending wishes from the North Pole. And then you have this. And may you never be too grown up to search the skies on Christmas Eve. I like that. And let's see, we've got, this is a journaling page, okay? So this you would use if you were doing scrapbooking or you could write somebody's um, Christmas list on it. It would be kind of cute. And then here's the back of it. So if you're not going to use these for scrapbooking or you don't need a journaling page, you can certainly use this. And let me see if I can find a card, <laughs> which is really funny because I should have a gazillion cards. I'm looking for a colored card right now. Here's, here's a green one. Okay, so I just wanted to hold this up to something. You can put these right on the front of your cards and make cards out of them. So um, that's what I really like about these, and it makes card making super simple. Let's keep going here. Did I show them all to you? No, we've got these, and this is the back. So all kinds of different little elements in here that you can make cards with, and I think these are a lot of fun. Those are our three by fours. Now we have our four by sixes and you can take these and again, you can trim them down. Look at how cute that is, right? And we also have some envelopes and card bases that you can get with these called Wonder of the Season Memories and More. I bet you I have those in my drawer too. Here's the back. Oops, here's the front, Celebrate the Season. And the back of Celebrate the Season. And, oh, and then, hang on, we're going to move this out of the way. Then we have these foil sheets. So um, you get 20 memories and more card base. Oh, no, I'm reading the wrong thing. Um, in the It's three by four. You get 48 of these smaller cards here. Then in the four by six, you get mm, 12. Is that right? 48 cards. Oh, uh, uh, 24 of each. So 24 of these, 24 of these, and then where I've got, this is all gold foil. Can you see how pretty that is? These are all specialties. So you also get 12 gold foil pages. Now these don't have anything on the back, and mine are upside down, but you get the, get the picture, right? And then you get all of these sticker sheets. So we get eight sticker sheets. These are die cut stickers. This is really cool. The numbers, you can definitely, I was looking at those to see, hmm, why would I need numbers? But if you're doing scrapbooking, you could do 
the 12 days of Christmas or, you know, 24 days or 25 days count down to Christmas. But you could also, if you're not going to do that with scrapbooking, you could use these to personalize somebody's birthday card. So I thought that was kind of cool. These are die cut stickers. If you look at these, they pop right out of here. They're all adhesive and look how pretty those are. So you get two sheets of these, two sheets of these, and then these gold foil and the number gold foils. So I just wanted to let you know what these are. Just like me getting my paper pumpkin kit every month, I absolutely love to take one of these Memories and More card packs and the challenge of making cards with it, I think is something that I enjoy. So definitely something you could add to your list of creative endeavors, right? Okay, hang on, let me get this back in here. I just put this in a little Ziploc bag so that I could keep it all together. But that's the memories and more, the wonder of the season. Okay, now we're going to start. We are going to do uh, one of Haley's cards first here. I think we're going to do this one. I wanted to show you this wonder of the season paper that's so pretty. Look at this. When I was in Michigan a few weeks ago, we got this gift from the event and they use this as wrapping paper which I thought was really really cool right very pretty and this is the ribbon that's in the wonder of the season okay here comes our card let me move this I just love both of these Haley did such a good job on them of course she did right I would expect nothing less and we've got this and here comes my little cheat sheet that I make her write up for me. <laughs> and I looked everything over today to make sure I knew what I was doing because you guys know what a disaster things can be when I'm left to my own devices, right? <laughs> and that means that I've never made this card myself, so that could be an issue. It tends to be a little more tricky. All right, looks like fun, right? Let me set that off to the side. We're going to be using Shaded Spruce Real Red tonight. Um, let me make sure that I've got everything right here. Do, 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 do. Shaded Spruce and Cherry Cobbler also. So let me grab the Cherry Cobbler. We're using Cherry Cobbler for this card right here. And I need a piercing mat. Let me see if I got one with the paper on it. Yep, brand new one. Okay, here we go. Now, I have all of my um, blog posts ready to go. I'll be typing in the dimensions for the um, these cards tonight, and I'll be adding those as soon as we're done with this live. So just know that you can go to my blog right here, and you're going to find still photos of all of these with the dimensions. There's even a shopping list that tells you the exact colors of the ink and cardstock and all the tools so you know the like if you see me using my take your pick tool and you're like oh I can't remember what that's called it'll be in that shopping list take your pick tool so that you if you need to get one you can click on it it'll go right to my store we're also going to be using stays on ink for this particular card so first off we've got shaded spruce this is four and a quarter by five and a half then we have whisper white four by five and a quarter and then we have the tis the season designer series paper and this is two and a quarter by five and a quarter and another piece of shaded spruce that is two and a half by eleven and I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer here and we're going to score this at five and a half Now this is a fun fold. It's a fun fold that I have shown you like many times. I absolutely love this one. This is also um, a two, hang on, da, 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 two and a quarter by five and a quarter inch piece. These two are the same. Then I have a scrap of watercolor paper. This is our Fluid 100 and also a piece of white that is three quarters by Mm, three and a quarter okay let's do a little bit of stamping here first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp the bells 
from the, uh, hang on, where did my stamp set go? Here it is, Cherish the Season. So that's the stamp set that I'm using, Cherish the Season. I'm going to use Stays on Ink for that. You definitely want to use something that's waterproof or permanent ink when you are stamping and you're going to use water to color. And now I'm going to bring out these new water painters. I really like these. Um, you have a ginormous brush for a watercolor wash. You have a medium-sized brush for, you know, painting. <laughs> and a very small, intricate brush. And I love that we have three sizes here. All you do is fill these with water. One thing I do want to let you know, though, is that these turn backwards. So when you're undoing it, you're going to do righty-tighty. <laughs> And when you're putting it back on, you're going to do lefty loosey. So it's just backwards. I just want you to know that because I really like struggled with it. I'm like, oh my Lord, I can't even get the lid off. How am I supposed to use it? But it was operator error. Okay. We've got a little bit of ink here in the lid. And let me grab um, one thing. If you don't like this mess, I know some of us are very anal, right? Like we don't like this mess in our lids. You can take an acrylic block and put your ink right on there. See that? Now that's my palette. And then I'm gonna bring in my cherry cobbler and you can do the same thing. There we go. A Little bit neater, right? These just rinse off in the sink so you don't even have to like scrub them or anything. Cindy says she loves the new watercolor brushes. I do too. I'm very, very happy with these. Okay, what I usually like to have when I'm using any type of a water brush is just a little tissue or a paper towel. Now there's some little, oh look, I, oh look, I've got red ink everywhere. Hang on, this is why they make baby wipes. Right here in my next town over is where Huggies comes from. Did you guys know that? It's from uh, Nina, Wisconsin. So I don't get a discount or anything. <laughs> I know, the nerve, right? So there's a, um, a push on each side. I'm just gonna push and get some water flowing. Like I said, I always kind of like to have a tissue because, you know, you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> okay, I'm going to push some water out here. And we're going to start adding some color to our watercolor paper. And I'm just going to, I like to kind of go around the edges. I'm going to give it a little bit darker color where Stampin' Up! has provided me the hash marks for the artwork. That's where I would assume some shadowing would be. And I'm going to get some... Here we go. Here we get some more water coming out here. Now, of course, water coloring is not supposed to be perfect. Don't get too cranked about that. And just a little bit more right here. But I do love the look of it. Now I'm going to come in and just add a little bit more around the edges here to give it some nice, I don't know, make it look artsy fartsy. It's a good way to put it. Give it just a little bit of shadowing. There we go. I think I've done pretty okay. What do you think? Looks pretty good, right? Now, to clean your brush off, you're just gonna push some water out of it, go back and forth, back and forth, until you get your red out of there. And you can see that it's getting lighter and lighter and lighter. Okay, now I'm gonna come in here. I'm going to Push some water onto my green here. I put several drops. You can see this is a little bit more water. And now we're going to come in and do this bell in the shaded spruce. So I'm going to have a green bell and a cherry cobbler bell. So quiet. <laughs> it's because I'm not yakking, right? Gosh, you shut her yap. 
No, I know you guys don't think that. Well, maybe some of you do, but that's okay. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to come in with some more concentrated ink and put some more color on the shadowy areas because the, the concept artist or the artist at Stampin' Up, they know where this stuff is supposed to be looking shadowy and I'm going to trust them. Look at how cool that looks, right? Okay, and again, now if I was done with this aqua or with this water painter, I would take it and go rinse it out in the sink. That's gonna be the easiest way now to clean it off, okay? Well, it's getting pretty clean now, but it, that would just be easier and make sure that you get all the ink out of it. Life will be grand. And you can see that it's almost all back to clear. Okay, let me put this away. Be careful when you put your lids on. You don't wanna bend your bristles backwards. That's not gonna ever be good for your water painters. I'm gonna set this aside. Then we're going to grab our dies and, oh, hang on a second. Nope, we're not gonna grab our dies. We're gonna grab our scissors and we're going to cut our bells out. And I'm looking at this and yep, this is really easy to cut out. There's not a die for the double bells. There is for all the other bells, but not these. And that's okay because this is super easy to cut out. And um, let's see, where's all the rest of my bits and pieces here? Hang on, I think I'm throwing them on the floor. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. I don't know. Hang on, you guys, I'm losing things here. Here's, oh, here we go. Haley already cut these out for me. Bless her heart, right? <laughs> Yay, Haley. Okay, now we are going to take the paper, and I've got some of this gold specialty paper. Haley already did this for me. This is a two and a quarter inch circle punch. So I, she just punched this out, and then with the layering circle scallop, she made a gold foil layer to put behind this. So, Thank you, Ingrid. Ingrid said, so pretty. The color is just perfect. Thank you so much. Oh, oh I almost wrecked this, right? Here we go. We're going to put this right here. And then we're going to take this inside layer right here and a little bit of shaded spruce. Um, hang on a second. Where's my stamp set? Mm, does anybody see it? I know it's here somewhere. Oh, for the love of Pete. Hang on, you guys. Have some candy corn. Mm, I forgot to go through my mail, too. I'll do that when I get done. Here it is. Oh, my Lord. Have Mr. Betsy. I'm going to take out my feathers, my pine bows. And, yep, that'll fit. We're going to do some pine bows just like that with the shaded spruce. Then, I'm going to get out some memento ink. And we're going to stamp the may you cherish the wonder of the season now and throughout the year and i've got memento ink here for this one and i'm going to stand up see if i can get this on here straight oh that's really good yay me do you guys do that at home when you do something <laughs> like woohoo that was cool and then we're going to flag both ends. And we're going to flag them really shallow. So if I wasn't doing it shallow, I would be using my um, banner triple punch. But I want a nice shallow flag on each end. There we go. And here we go. Okay, so you guys, Haley and Val were over yesterday. They are getting ready for Halloween. Um, my Anna is having a little family party, and we're going over there. And I can't, okay, sponge and shaded spruce. I can't hardly wait to show you Val's 
Halloween costume. She is going to be the funniest baby ever in the history of Halloween. <laughs> I can't even tell you. It's just going to be so stinking cute, you guys. So, watch for that. Halloween is next weekend. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be hysterical. Steve got in on the fun, and he's been helping make the props for Val's Halloween costume. She is going to be a riot. We're going to take this and put it right on our shaded spruce layer. Okay. Then you guys know what this is for. This is going to go on the front. Burnish that edge really good. <laughs> Margaret says, oh, um, Margaret, you won a prize. You need to private message me your address so I can send it to you. Yay, I'm glad I'm seeing your comment. Um, Margaret says that she, she goes, I'm glad that I'm not the only one who loses things when I just had them. Yeah, exactly. It's so easy, isn't it? I do that a lot. <laughs> okay, and we're going to put this in here, right over here. I told you guys this was a layout that I've used before, but doggone it, it's just so easy to do this layout. And I think it's like a real wow. You know, this, this is a real wow layout. Okay, the inside layer here... I am just going to add this so that I have lots of space to write on. We're just going to put this on the inside. And again, all these measurements will be shown with still photos on my blog as soon as we're done. And then we're going to take some of that Tis the Season paper and we're going to add this right to this layer. As far as fun folds go, it doesn't get a lot easier than this. I mean, this is pretty simple. Now i got to find my dimensionals. Oh, I have a whole basket down here. I might as well get out big ones. And let's see, do I have baby ones here? Hang on. Oh, I might have to get out some new ones. i got black ones, but no white ones. Okay, here we go. Whew. And this is going to go right here. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on this layer. But you want to make sure that they're not over here, right? Because you don't want to like glue your little flap together. And I gotta get some lines on these dimensionals so I can see when those paper backings are off. Here we go. We're gonna put this right on here. Then we're gonna take these little buggers and Haley actually tied. This is the Wonder of the Season ribbon combo pack, you guys. You get the gold cording and this beautiful green satin ribbon. Is that not gorgeous? Yeah, we're gonna use that on the next card. Don't worry. I'm going to grab my bow jig and I'm going to tie a little bow with this. Now the lady whose husband is making these, she's on a little break right now from um, selling the bow jigs. She's got some, some um, things going on that she needed to take a little break. So if you guys, I've had a few people ask me about the bow jig and I've asked that you contact me in a couple months or so and they should be back in business so just so you know there's somebody that makes these and I can forward you their information but um, I can't I'm, I'm not gonna do it for the next couple months until she gives me the green light so just know that okay I'm gonna go real short real short here we go so there's a couple different ways I could have done these ribbons and I'm doing them um, the cheater easy way and then I'll show you the not cheater easy way. Does anybody see any blue dots? Here they are. Hang on, they're hiding under my little thing there. So I'm gonna curl these glue dots up. Ta -ta. Oh, I need some dimensionals on the back of here. Let's do this first. Do one here and one about right there. I got a mini glue dot on the end of my take your pick tool. I'm going to have to pick my own backings off. Steve found one of these upstairs in the new bedroom. And he's like, look at that. Look at your craft stuff is everywhere. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I don't know what he was talking about. Hmm. We're going to put those right on here. Now, I'm going to take a little mini glue dot. I've got it all rolled up. And I'm going to put it right on this bell. And I'm going to put the smaller bow stuck right to that. And then we're going to do one more. Now you could have threaded your cording through the holes on the bells. There are holes on them. But, you know, Lord, this is so much easier. <laughs> I like this better. 
So there we go. We've got two gold bows on there. We're not done yet. I wanted to add a little bit of Winkostella. So I've got some Winkostella and I'm going to just add a little bit of sparkle to that stripe or that, you know, where the bell goes, the two pieces go together to form the bell. Just a little bit of sparkle on there. And I know it's probably hard for you guys to see it, but it's really pretty, right? Julie says she loves her bow jig. Yeah, I do too. I think they're the best tool ever made in the history of stamping tools. Like, they're crazy good. Okay, glue. We're just going to glue, make sure I got this right. We're just going to glue this on. We're going to put this right here. Oh, I should have moved everything up a little bit. I wonder if I can. Now I already got glue all over it. But anyways, Haley did a better job than I did. Okay, and last but not least, the wonderful gems are also a part of this suite. You get gold and red. And I've got another pack of them here someplace that actually has some gold ones on it. I've been using these like crazy, you guys. I've gone through so many of these, I can't even tell you. But we're just going to take, whoops, we're going to take some of these and we're going to sprinkle them around just to add that little bit of bling. Haley loves the bling and she did not leave it off on here. Oh my goodness, look how cute that is, you guys. Super easy, right? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Speaking of lemons, I don't know how my mind goes to this, but with um, this little family Halloween party that Anna's having, I have been a psycho on Pinterest looking for all the super cool Halloween ideas for food. And I'm super excited because we're going to make mummy pizzas. Like pizzas that are shaped like they're like, looks like mummies. I can't even hardly wait. And I got, I bought some candy eyeballs this week and I got some um, skeleton rats, like the skeleton of a rat on food platters and I will take lots of pictures. I can't wait to share it with you. Okay, so there's our first card. Let's get moving along here. We're going to go to our second card right away, which where did it go? Hang on, it's here somewhere. Lord Kelly. Oh, it's right here. Don't worry. Okay, here comes another one. I'm just going to set that over there. We have a real red card base that is four and a quarter by 11. Hang on, let me get all the things out. And, and my little cheat sheet. We've got red foil. This is a scrap. The red and green foil come together in a package. So we've got red foil, shaded spruce, whisper white. And then our layers for our card. What I'm going to do right now is I am going to, we're going to be using real red this time. I'm going to take the real red ink. And the sentiment we put on the front of the last card, we're going to put on the inside of this one. I need to move that off of there because otherwise... It it will skew my idea of straightness here. Does that make sense? <laughs> that was kind of a weird way to say it. I had this kind of laying on here, like weird, and it's like, you know what I'm saying. Sometimes it's better to stop talking, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you guys so much. Thanks, I'm getting a lot of love the card. Thank you. It really is kind of an easy card, but it's impressive, right? It's like, it's kind of a pretty wow card, but you saw how simple it was to go together. Okay, we've got a three quarter inch by four inch strip of designer series paper here, and that's just gonna be my inside. You guys know that I don't think a card should stop when somebody opens a card. We need to have some stuff on the inside. I almost always decorate the insides. And it's easy to do with the little scraps. Okay, so here's the inside of our card, real red. And then the front of our card, we are going to take the Merry Christmas stamp, which is, hang on, right here. I just know that's going to fall on the floor. Oh my God, things are falling. Hang on. I can't hardly wait for my new office. So I can fill it up and, it, and I'll still only have this much room to work, right? We all know how that goes. <laughs> okay. 
And we're gonna put our Merry Christmas with Real Red Ink right down here at the bottom. Yay, that was successful too. And then we're gonna use some shaded spruce. Oops, here comes our shaded spruce. And where's our bell? Oh, I know I have more stamps out than this. Hmm. Did you guys see the bell? I thought I had the bell out here. Like, oh my lord, she can't even keep track of her stuff, right? Hang on, where'd the stamp set go? Right here. Nope, <laughs> I didn't take the bell out. Oh, don't worry. I am going to stamp the bell in shaded spruce and we're gonna put that on this scrap. Okay. Now, dies. Remember I told you about this die? I wasn't quite sure what that was for, but it's for this bell. So we're gonna die cut that. Then we're also going to die cut this little cutie patootie on the red foil. And then there's some pine bow or pine sprigs and we're gonna die cut those on our shaded spruce scrap, one of each. And do I need to use the unicorn? Through the magic of TV, all of those things are now completed. <laughs> Haley did them for me. Bless your heart. She rocks. <laughs> and I think that calls for a candy corn. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Let me get all this out of the way. We've got a card to put together. The only other thing you need for your card, your card is four strips of designer series paper. And these are, these are um, three quarters by five. So I'm gonna set these aside right over here. Don't let me lose them. You guys have seen how dangerous it is to give me things. And here's my triple banner. And we're going to, whoops, we're going to put these in the center. Now this is only three quarters of an inch and this channel is for a one inch strip. So I like to turn it over and I like to look at the back to make sure that I got it centered in there. So here's one and we're going to do another one. And again, I'm just looking at the back, make sure it's centered. There's two. I've also allowed on these strips, the size of them to cut off that much. Okay. Michelle lo loves my unicorn. Thank you so much, Michelle. My friend Barb got the unicorn for me and Dina. So we both have one and they are the cutest little thing. Yeah. And the little, the little unicorn horn turns different colors. Yeah. They're pretty sweet. Everybody should have one. <laughs> And last but not least, the words. Make sure when you do the word layer, this is the red foil word layer that you have it right side up. You want the bottom of it to be flagged. Center, hang on, I can do a center. There we go, okay. So here's our four little strips. Now, this is another great way to use your scraps. And we are going to adhere all four four of these to the front of our card. So we're just gonna leave the same margin on the left and the top. Get these on here nice and straight. And this again is the Tis the Season Designer Series paper. Hang on, let me grab that. This paper set, and like I said, this is perfect for all those little Christmas images. They're kind of like little backgrounds, right? It's some of them like this is a little more bold, but for the most part, they're all kind of backgrounds that will work really nice. I should have done the outside one before I did this one. So let's head to the outside here. Do your two outsides first. I'm being rather presumptuous that I can actually make these fit in here evenly. <laughs> Well, I am a professional, but you guys have seen how I operate. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a mess. And here comes that last one. Oh, I did pretty good, didn't I? This could have been moved over just a little bit, but it'll be fine. Okay, so we've got our four strips on here. Now we're gonna take some of this beautiful ribbon. And again, 
you get this ribbon and the gold twine, which I, oh, here it is. <laughs> the gold twine, this comes in a combo pack with this whole suite. Before I forget, you guys, did you know that Stampin' Up! gives you right over here, there is an item code for the entire suite of products. You're gonna get two packs of designer series paper, two bundles, so there's another bundle that goes with this Wonder of the Season and the Bell Bundle we're using, Wonderful Gems, the Memories and More, the Memories and More card pack, the ribbon, all for $149.50. Now remember, you get that free hello, Merry Hello is from me with a $150 order. I would recommend that you add the gold foil or some um, red and green foil to your order if you decide to order this suite of products because you're definitely going to want the foil papers. They work really nice with this. Okay, we're going to take this and we're going to add it right to the front of our card about right here. And we're gonna get out our crummy Amish tape. Hi, Tammy Litsky. I'm happy to see you in here, whether you're late or not. You can always go back and watch the beginning. Okay, look at how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Next up is all of our bits. We are going to take, gotta poke that out of here. Now see, these stayed in here, but they are die cut, so I could push them out. But I'm just going to leave them in there because for what we're going to do, it doesn't really matter. We're going to take some of that gold cording right here, and we are going to tie this around here. And like I said before, you can do this. You can do it this way, or you can just tie a bow and stick it right on to these bells with a mini glue dot. Whatever works best for you. Because I know sometimes be bells, bells aren't challenging. Sometimes, well, unless you're going to play bells in church. Haley played bells in church. Um, sometimes bows can be challenging, right? So if you are challenged with bows, you can always just use a mini glue dot. And that'll like save a lot of frustration for you. I happen to have a few bows under my belt. <laughs> like five million probably. So I'm just going to trim this, trim that. Now we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of our bells. And I think one should work just fine. We're going to put that, oops, we're going to put that right about here, up a little bit, like right there. And I think I want to add a dimensional so that my little bell doesn't flop around. Well, it certainly could flop around. So I'm just sneaking a little dimensional right in there, just like that. And then I wish I could find the rest of my wonderful gems that I've used up. Oh, here they are. Look at they're right here. I am going to use some of the clear with gold glitter in them. And I'm going to put one right there. I just lost it. It just went way over there. I don't even know what happened to it. One right here. Okay. And I'm like, do I have a card base here? I kind of lost track of that. This isn't closing very nicely. I need to do something about that. That's why I love my bone folder. Here we go. Da -da -da. Get that out of there. Oh, so pretty. Haley, Haley is a very talented designer, like very talented. She just really can make some beautiful stuff. What do you guys think? Right? Yeah, Mary Olson says, Kelly is the fabulous bow queen. I know a lot of times at my stamping events, people would ask me to tie their bows for them because it was frustrating, and I always understand that. Ingrid, um, if you're having a password problem with your demonstrator site, you need just call Stampin' Up. And if you want to, they'll send you an email. You can forward to me. Just forward it to me. I'll get it to your account and we'll get it straightened out. Um, I know that lots of times people think there's something wrong with the Stampin' Up website that you can't get into your sign into your account. But I have never 
found that to be the case with the people that I've helped. It's always you're typing something just a touch wrong in your password most of the time. So there we go, you guys. There's card number one. Here's card number two. Oh, wait. Haley's probably yelling. If she's still watching, she's yelling, Mom, you forgot this. You got to put these little pine bow deals on there. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a mini glue dot. I'm going to put a mini glue dot under the end of my pine bow. Oops. And we're going to stick these two together just like that. Yep, that looks great. And then I'm going to put this right underneath my bell. Huh, look at, charming, right? Those, those are cute. I, I'm gonna give you that, they're super cute. Okay, next up is, that away. gift card holder. I've got two different colors to show with the gift card holder, you guys. I need one in cherry cobbler. Um, and we're going to make another one here in the shaded spruce. Here's my cheat sheet telling me all my dimensions. We've got an Amazon card here. I've got a scrap of shaded spruce. This is going to be our gift card holder base. So let's do our things with this first. I'm going to bring in my paper cutter. <laughs> Cheryl says now she has another stamp set she has to buy. You're welcome. I am an enabler. That's what I do. Okay, we are going to take this piece. This is four inches wide by 11 inches. So four inches by 11. We're going to score it three times. We're going to score it at four inches, at five and a half inches, and at seven inches. Okay, so we got boom, boom, boom. Put that back where it belongs. And now you're going to, you want to make sure you're burnishing on all these edges. You want these burnished really good. And then we're going to fold this this way. I'll show you in just a second so you know which way it zigs and zags. And then this way. Oops. Okay, so what we have here, oh, that wasn't right. <laughs> Oh yeah, it was. Okay, what we have here is a W, okay? This is this is pretty much it. Now, what we're gonna do with this is we are going to, here's the W, we're gonna glue these two together. So I've got some of my Stampin' Seal Plus, and I really like this. This comes off, and I'll try to get a close-up of this. This comes off in little tiny, little tiny section-y things. Hang on, I got some junk in there. Oh, now it's really stuck. But this stuff is really strong. Can you see? There's like little segments of it, and I really like it. So you're going to just glue those two together, and this is what we're going to end up with. Next up is we are going to take and add some of our Stamp and Seal Plus to each side here. And we're gonna glue that down. Now, what we have is a little pocket. Isn't that cool? Super easy, not much to it. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little die cutting. I've got the, the smallest and then the next biggest stitched shape circles. And I've got them taped together because we're gonna cut out two of these just like that. And then, where did my dies go? Go there. Then we're gonna take the large jingle bell and we're gonna die cut one of those out of, again, green. And then we're gonna take the, so you've got um, a tiny, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, and a little bit bigger. We're gonna take this one, so not the smallest one, but this one. And we're going to die cut that on a scrap of gold. So two of these, one of these, and a gold. And when you get that all done, this is what it's going to look like. Oh, wait, I forgot the magic part. Through the magic of TV, here we go. 
So let me put my dies back. Look at how cute. I love that Jingle Bell. Here's my other size Jingle Bell. Let me get these all out of the way. I'm gonna put my dies back in the envelope because you know how that goes. <laughs> it never ends up well. Okay, here we go. Two pieces of designer series paper. These are both three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And again, if you tuned in late, you're going to find all of these dimensions, still photos, and a complete ingredient shopping list on my blog as soon as we're done here tonight. So I think I'm going to go like this right here. This is going to leave a nice border around that shaded spruce. We're going to do the same thing on the back. I love this paper. Like newsprint paper is just charming and kind of old world Christmas to me. I just think it's really pretty. Okay. Then you're going to get some strips of gold foil. Remember I said if you order this whole suite of products, you want some gold foil, some red and green foil, add that to your order because you're definitely going to want it. <laughs> Judith says the jingle bells are so, so cute. Judith, I'm happy to see you on here tonight. Um, Cheryl, I believe my friend Barb's brother bought um, the unicorn and he lives in Arizona. So it was a gift to Barb. And you know what? I think Barb got it on Amazon because then she ordered them for me and Dina. Okay, so a little bit of glue here. This is three quarters by four, and I'm just going to put this right at the top of my edge, just like that. Okay, and we're going to do that on both sides. We want both sides to be pretty and attractive. This is going to kind of be like a little, it's almost like a little suitcase when we're done here. Okay, now I see a little bit sticking out here. And that is never going to make me happy. So let me trim this off. You know, there's some things that I'm like, yeah, whatever. But a lot of things I'm like, oh, no. I won't be able to sleep at night if I left these on here. No, it's not that bad. I'm not that neurotic. I promise. <laughs> okay. I love, love, love this. Don't you love the 50, 50 cent sleigh rides? My mother had a sleigh like this for a horse when she was a kid. And the reason why I know this is because one of the houses on the way from town to my mom's house out in the country has a sleigh like this in their front yard and they bought it from my grandma. So that sleigh used to be my mom's. Isn't that cool? I know, kind of cute, right? Okay, now back to our project. So now we're gonna take this piece. This is, I believe, one and a half by four. We're going to put this on our little pocket. And I'm just going to add this. This is this is where the pocket is for the gift card. We're going to put that right on here. And then while I'm doing this, I like to kind of close my card and make sure that I've got that even in the crack. <laughs> so now we're talking about crack. Oh my goodness, you know what that reminds me of? I'm going to trim this off now. Um, I was watching Drugs Incorporated last night instead of Murder, which is what I usually watch. Who else are Murder fans? Um, not of Murder itself, but you know what I mean. Um, and this Drugs Incorporated, they have this new drug called Shatter. I guess it's really, really nasty. Like when people do this Shatter stuff, it um, they can't even remember their name. Like, they can't even function at all. I thought, why on earth? I'm just like, meh, so sad. But anyways, that's enough about drugs and shatter. And then Special K, that's a new one, too. Lord. Okay, look how cool that is. Yay! All right, next up. These are our handles, okay? So, you're going to take, and you're going to put some glue on here, just like that. And you want to make sure your glue's on here. And we're going to put this just like that okay and then we're going to take this one and we're going to put it on the back just like that and i'm just putting it right over that first one so that it's lined up perfectly you can see that they're perfectly lined up look at how cute you guys is that not cute okay next <laughs> let's not get carried away kelly um next up is we're going to take this bell, and we're gonna find our dimensionals in this complete chaotic mess. Here they are. And I 
got one right there, and now I need to find the baby dimensionals. Hang on, I got more. I just don't know exactly where they are. Here we go. I want some little ones. Help support my big bell. And I am ready. Now, I recommend that you put the bell on your card gift card holder first before you start tying anything together. And um, the reason why I'm doing that is because it just makes your life a little bit easier. It's holding your bell in place. Does that make sense? So now we're going to tie some of the cording around it in a bow. And I just weaved this gold bell in there. Gosh, my family is going to get the coolest stuff for Christmas. <laughs> well, the coolest gift card holders, right? I can't decide what to get my mom for Christmas. I'm not really sure. Uh, mom's kind of hard to buy for. I'm going to start thinking about that, right? Who's got their Christmas shopping done? Oh, Judy says I have the best bracelets. Thank you. I thought these were kind of Halloween-y. Halloween-y, Halloween-y. Yeah. So who knows what I'm going to be for Halloween? Somebody should know. Okay. Now, you can nail this down if you want, this little bell, but I'm just going to leave it, leave it dangle there. It's quite fine by itself. Look at how cool that is. What do you guys think? Isn't that fun? I love this. Okay, next up, here comes a cherry cobbler. And you'll notice I put that little stripe on the bell that comes, no, let me grab it, no, here we go, with the die. This one that I didn't know what it was for. Can you see that I put that right on the bell there? I used gold, and I put it on the bell. And you can see that I put all of these on there, all the little lines where the bell would come together. Yeah. So here's another one. Oh, this is a Maurice's gift card. Maurice's is my favorite clothing store. Yeah. So we've got shaded spruce. This is a shaded spruce bell, whereas this big one is gold. And then I flipped on these two. Isn't that pretty? I need a piece of candy corn? Uh-huh, I do. Who wants to see my mail? Oh, I see lots of you have your holiday shopping. <laughs> Marsha, you guys think I'm dressing up like candy corn. Well, that's a really good idea. I really should because I love it. But I'm not. I'm not going to be candy corn. But I should work on that because that's a really dandy idea. All right, you guys, what do you think of this? Sweet. Now, I've got another whole set here that I haven't even touched. Wishes and Wonder. And if you look at this on page 31, we've got the Cherish the Season, which is the bells. That's the set that and the dies that we just used tonight. Then there's the Wishes and Wonder. And here we go. Look at this. You've got two deer in there, and then all of the things, all of the dyes that go with this. Yeah, pretty cool, right? So I haven't even touched this yet. So I think I better start getting some stuff done with this, right? I love the deer. I could make some good luck deer hunting. I should make a card for Steve and for his deer hunting. This is actually looks like an elk, but whatever. <clears throat> I should make him a card for his bow hunting trip and like tuck it into his whatever. Or I could put it someplace in the truck where he may or may not find it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, this is the Cherish the Season bundle as part of the Wonder of the Season suite. I love it. I think these are so, so cool. Okay, let me get a little bit of mess cleaned up here. And then I'm going to show my mail because I got some good mail this week. I get good mail every week. Who am I, who am I kidding? First of all, Jeannie Columnist, she sent me this toxic treats card. Look at that center panel. Huh. Kind of looks familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> very, very cute card, Jeannie. Thank you so much. Happy Halloween. And then we have from Luba from Rochester, New York. Look at this one. Magic in this night. Yeah, this is very, very cool. I love the way she did the front of this card, right? 
Yay, hope you, hope your day is full of treats. It's full of candy corn, woo! -hoo. Then I got a card from Shannon West at Stampin' Up. She's congratulating me on my million dollars. She just said, I hope you are still on a high from reaching that million dollar milestone. You are the best and I'm so proud of you and so thankful for all you do for our wonderful stamping community. Can't wait to have the have you visit the home office. I can't wait either, Shannon. Like, I'm really looking forward to that. Okay. This one is from Priscilla Sichuan. Hello, pumpkin. Isn't that cute? I love that hat. I know how much you love Halloween, so here's a card. Thanks for all the inspiration from Priscilla. Very cute, Priscilla. Thank you so much. And then I got two cards. And these are from... Hang on a second. I don't want to mess this up. Linda Gilbert. Look at this beauty. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, so Linda's in my VIP group. She's also part of my team. And this is one of the cards that I demonstrated in that VIP group. This is actually designed by Rachel Duhan. And I did a Facebook Live in the VIP group, and this is the one that Linda made. And oh, is that not just beautiful, you guys? It's so, so pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. And she says, thank you for the great ideas you always share with us. It really helps to get the creative juices flowing. Sometimes I just don't have the papers, dyes, stamps, etc. to make my product look like yours. But I always want to try it out before my new items arrive. And so... Here's just one example of what I did with your idea from what I had on hand. And oh my goodness, it is beautiful, Linda. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then Linda also sent me this card. And it says, um, so sorry I missed your birthday. And I miss sending you a congrats on reaching your million dollar goal. You are amazing. And I didn't want to miss thanking you also for everything you inspire in all of us. And isn't that just the sweetest? Look, this is a belly band. How cute is that? Look at that. Mm, does this do something? Hang on. Oh, here we go. Whew. I'm like, oh, I know it does something. Look at how cute that is. Very, very pretty, Linda. I love this little belly band with that little flower on there. That's so cute. Very, very charming. Thank you guys so much. Oh, wait, I have one more. Oh, I got two more. Woohoo! This is from Jan Fortin. Jan is one of my team members. She is under Cindy on my team. And Jan just wanted to let me know how much. She says, I want you to know how much I enjoy and appreciate all you do for our team. This is the kind of supportive group I was looking for when I first joined Stampin' Up! over 20 years ago, and I finally found it on my fourth try. Thank you for your hard work, generous heart, and cheerful attitude. I appreciate the business building advice and creative coaching. And the card designs... And she said, it's been challenging to keep her customers engaged through the ups and downs this year has brought, but my diligence and regular communication and encouragement has helped me keep going with the tiny little business. And she designed this card for a recent class. Isn't that pretty? I like the use of the punches here. Thank you so much, Jan, and you are very welcome. I have one more piece of mail. This came... Was a glorious day in Menasha, Wisconsin. Look at this, you guys. Not only do we have candy corn in here, I better have another one. Candy corn with sea salt peanuts covered in real milk chocolate. Oh my god, it's like the best of all worlds. This comes from Lynn Seclary. Lynn is from Arcade, New York. Lynn, oh my gosh, bless your heart. I feel like it's my birthday. So, I'll be filling this up with this. Bev, if you're watching, my coach, she's down in Texas right now. If you're watching, don't worry. I'm watching the scale, sister. It's worth it to starve yourself if you can eat some candy corn. <laughs> no, I'm not starving myself. Believe me. Remember, I made breakfast this morning. <laughs> Even if it was just toast. Okay, you guys. Did I miss anybody's questions? I know, right? I can't hardly wait. But I gotta eat this first. It'll take me a few days. There's some M&Ms down in here, too. Steve likes regular M&Ms. I just like candy. Okay, I'm gonna flip my phone around. Hang tight.
Woohoo! This is usually when we have sound problems. So if we start having sound problems, we're done stamping. So that's the important part, right? All right. Did I miss any questions, you guys? I am back and looking at my screen. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Please don't forget to hit that share button. That really helps me out. If you're watching later on YouTube, ring that bell. Um, subscribe to my channel. That also helps bring me up in the analytics of the whole internet, interweb magical thing we know nothing about or don't understand. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And somebody just said, Kelly, when we place an order, do we need to add the free stamp set to our order? No. No, you use your money that you're going to get. You're going to get stamp and rewards if your order is $150 before tax and shipping, Chris. Um, and the other thing I need to be, be clear of, I had um, one of my team members this week tell me that they had just placed a large order so they could get the merry hellos from me. And I went and looked at my orders and I'm like, you didn't order through me. And um, she ordered through her demonstrator, discount shopper status on Stampin' Up. That is not an order from me, okay? So if you want the $150 order to apply to get the free merry hellos from me, you're gonna place that in my online store. And um, I will send you the stamp set. You spend your stamping rewards on something else. I'm gonna provide you with the stamp set, so you don't need, that's a really good question, Chris. And just remember, if you're on my team, you're placing your own orders and getting that discount. And I want you to do that. I don't want you to order this through me because if you put a $150 order in, you could get the stamp set for $10 too, whether you're on my team or not. But if you're ordering from me as a customer, I will send you that stamp set for free as a thank you gift because that's a big order, right? And I just want you to know that I do really appreciate all the orders and I'm going to reward you if you spend that kind of money, right? Okay. Who else? I just saw Renee Schnobert come in here. I haven't seen you in forever, Renee. And Debbie is here. And, oh, thank you, Judith. You're so sweet. I love Judith. She leaves comments on my YouTube channel. And I, every time I see her name, I'm like, oh, I have to read what Judith said because she's so comical. I really enjoy your comments. I have a um, Wednesday tip video. Already got it cranked out. Um, so I'm ready for Wednesday with my tip video. It's it's a it's a good little good little tip, but I'll have a good joke. And then um, Thursday, paper pumpkin alternative ideas blog hop. I'm planning on doing that when I'm done here tonight. Friday, I have um, totally techniques blog hop, and this month we're using ink and embossing folders. So that should be really fun. I haven't done that yet, but I'll be working on it. And then Sunday is November 1st, Stamping Society Blog Hop. I have that done and ready to roll. We're using the Poinsettia Place suite of products. Hang on while I chew my candy corn. Sorry. At least I'm not spitting food, right? Um, so I have a really, really busy schedule. I will be back again here on next Sunday night. 7 p.m. Central Time. If you guys have any requests that you would like me to use a certain bundle or make something that you saw somebody else make, let me know. Because I am up for ideas. I might, I might get myself together enough that I can go hunting for a couple days. I've been kind of rolling it through my head. Like, if I get this done tonight and I get my paper pumpkin alternative ideas figured out and videotaped and photographed, I bet I could go to my mom's house for a couple days of hunting because I still haven't been out in a tree yet. Remember last time I went up, I didn't feel good. I just didn't feel that great and it was really crummy weather so I just slept the whole time. <laughs> this is okay too, right? Um, do you do a paper pumpkin alternative? I do. I do, Marlene. Um, I have a blog hop once a month. It's always the last Thursday of the month. And hang on, where's my paper pumpkin? Right here. It's right here on the floor next to me because that's up next, folks. Here's the paper pumpkin. This is our kit this month. I do. I will make at least a couple alternative ideas using the uh, Joy to the World. 
and then I do a blog hop. Now, my paper pumpkin customers get a PDF file from me every month. Whoops, sorry, I just rammed into my desk here. They get a PDF file from me every month where I share uh, 15 to 20 additional alternate ideas using the paper pumpkin of the month, the kit. So if you're a subscriber with me or you're on my team, I share that with, with those people. And um, it's pretty cool because you're going to get a whole bunch of ideas for your monthly kit. Somebody just asked, how is my mom doing? Denise asked, how is my mom doing? My mom is great. So my mom is all like better. She was out repotting plants and going for walks. And I talked to her about every other day or so. And she's doing really, really good. Okay, what did somebody say here? Karen West said, oh yes, Chris in the pine. Kelly, please. Um, I do have some online classes coming up. Uh, hang on. I'm looking for it. Curvy Celebrations, you guys. This starts in November. Let me grab it. I've got it right over here. There's two stamp sets. Quite Curvy and Curvy Christmas. These are so beautiful. I was just part of a one-on-one -on -one swap. So I'm getting lots of samples in the mail. And I'm part of a virtual swap where I'm going to have a PDF file to be able to give to everybody who orders this bundle of products from me as a gift. And this is the beautiful paper. Okay. There's all different, you know, kinds of paper in here. And then we've got all these border dies. Oh, look, I made a little template. Let me show you that. I don't think I've shown this to anybody yet. Okay. So here's the dies and the stamps with the images. And then here are the borders. Oh my goodness. Look at all of those. Yeah, so this is going to be an awesome one. And I'll tell you a little something about this. When Stampin' Up! This promotion with the Curvy Celebrations, it's called. It starts, I think, November 3rd. And I could be wrong about that. But it's either November 1st or November 3rd. I think it's the 3rd. And I don't know where my flyer is. But you guys, most of you know when it is. Um... When Stampin' Up! has a promotion that comes out like this, so this goes from November 3rd to like January something, when you order these, you are going to have a gazillion ideas to go with these special orders that are, you know, promotions throughout the year because every Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States ordered this right and they're all making it and they're all promoting it and so they need lots of samples to show all of their customers and that's where you're going to have a gazillion ideas with curvy celebrations because every demonstrator across the globe is creating with this and can I just tell you the cards that I created they're so cute so watch for that on either November 1st or November 3rd who knows who knows Oh, Didi Tibke said, you're right. Who knows when that starts? I don't know. It's November 1st or 3rd. Watch for that because I am doing an online class. When you order a selected amount of products, I'm going to have listed what's going to be in my online class. When you select option one, you're going to get my online class for free and the pre-cut cardstock pack for free. There's also a second option that's going to come with some ribbon and embellishments and pre-cut cardstock pack or third option for my global followers, or if you just want the PDF, you can get just the PDF file with the online class in it. So that's gonna be Curvy Celebrations for November. Um, in November for my kit class, we are using Freezing Fun, and this is gonna be just a wonderful little kit class for the month of November. This is the one I do with Ashley Pfeiffer out of Canada. And then I'm looking over here at my note that's hanging on my punches. <laughs> In December, for my online class, we're going to be doing In the Pines. And December's a little late to be looking at Christmas, right? As stampers, we've already figured out our Christmas cards and we've made them. And we don't need more Christmas card ideas in December. We are going to do an online class with In the Pines all about masculine cards. It's going to be probably everything besides Christmas. So that's going to be exciting because you've got tons of ideas for Christmas with In the Pines, right? But we're going to give you some masculine cards. That makes that bundle so much more valuable when it's so much more versatile. Then, our, um, let's see, that's November. Oh, and December. Oh, um, let me see if I can find. Here it is. 
December kit class with Ashley out of Canada. We are going to use the press on. This is a stinking adorable coffee, cocoa, whatever you want it to be stamp set. This is going to be my kit class in December. And again, this is not going to be centered around Christmas at all. This is going to be just fun winter coffee all occasion cards. So I'm excited to be doing that. I got so much stuff going on. <laughs> Let me put all my things back because otherwise I go, oh, I know that was over here and now I lost it. I've got crap piled everywhere. <laughs> do you guys live like that too? Yeah, I do. Paper pumpkin right back here so don't forget. All right, you guys. <laughs> Carla says it snowed in North Iowa today. Yeah, our ground is covered with snow, Carla. <laughs> Fun stuff, right? October, Wisconsin, Iowa, Midwest, crazy. It's 83 in Central Florida. Judy, you big show off. I want to go to Florida. <laughs> I will this winter. I promise. I promised myself I'll go. My helper is in Las Vegas starting today. A little jealous of that too. Anyways, I hope you guys have a fabulous week. Check back with me on Wednesday. I will have my tip video. Thursday is the Paper Pumpkin blog hop. Friday is the Totally Techniques blog hop. Sunday is the Stamping Society blog hop. Oh my lord, my head's going to blow off. Have yourselves a wonderful week and um, I will be back again live on the day after Halloween. So I'll be able to tell you all about the party and I'm going to share lots of pictures with you too. And I'll share Val pictures because Haley is going to publish those soon. I don't usually go ahead of her. Like if she doesn't post her family pictures on her Facebook page, she sent them to me in a private message. I won't like step on her toes. I want her to have that, right? Okay. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to go see what Steve's doing since he didn't let me have my nap today. <laughs> have a great week. I will see you guys soon. Stay warm or cool depending on where you live. Bye-bye.